Hello again and welcome to another episode from Rob Pauli Show. In the end of this video, you can see that William is adding another piece to the recording for our new album. We show you another part from the interview with Sean Cannon from the Dublin Legends. And we show you around at the Rapalje Zomo Folk Festival until the gates open. Hello, I'm Merkel from Rapalje, yeah? and this t-shirt is from a band called Scotch. But I'm not wearing the right trousers to it. Check them out in our YouTube channel, in our playlists. And they perform at many festivals where we also perform. After our Nightliner tour from a video from last week, I got my cup of coffee and now I will show you around on the terrain at Zomervok Festival. Then William and me will open the gates and we will let the audience in. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's nearly 12, or it's already 12, I don't know. But we're we'll standing here waiting to open the gates. We had some interviews from artists at our festival and because these interviews are a bit long we will show them piece by piece in our Rapalje show. And this is the second part from the interview with Sean Cannon from the Dublin Legends. We are so proud to have you here. Well, um, for, 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 to be here, very pleased. I'm, I'm so proud to be here with you. Yeah, and I'm, I'm pleased and proud to be here as well. <laughs> You should sure. be proud. Of sure, sure. Yeah, but it's not the first time. No, no, I was here uh, with my sons. What I like is that there are so, so many young people uh, on, on the front rows that really enjoy I this concert. I saw that, yes, yes, I saw that. All groupies. This always surprises us. Yeah, it still has, eh? Yeah. We were we played a concert uh, last night, we were in Den Uwe. Yeah. And uh, they're mostly elderly people. Yeah. In the theatre situation. We, we get older, but the, wi the women are still the same. They still have the, exactly the same age yeah, as 25 true. years ago. That's wonderful. Yeah, and it's a tradition and it's worthwhile. It's, it's something to have some enjoyment with. It is, yeah. And a reason for uh, you know, carrying on our tradition. We're very civilized. Any civilized nation has likes music. We also started this music because we heard this music for, and we were very young at, at, at that point. We said, uh, I, if I'm going to make music, this, this kind of music, because it's so nice to communicate with this music. It's so easy to com communicate with. Yes, homemade music, yeah. Yeah, and uh, you, you play a song, you sing, and everybody smiles and is happy and then... Uh, That's very important. Yeah. It's very important. It's, uh, it's an empty life without it. It's, 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 some people say it's the purest form of art because it's... Uh, it only exists while it's being performed. Yeah. I mean, nowadays you can make recordings and you can hear performance at yeah. a later date. This interview will be continued in our next Rapalje show. And now William is going to talk about a small piece that's missing on the original recording from a song for our new album. Be easy and free and see you next week. Hello. I'm going to tell you something about 
it made me what I am now. And a big part of it is my uh, performing as a street musician in different cities in uh, Europe. I started actually with a 12 string guitar. I was still doing school, but uh, didn't know it really went well, the school. So I made some extra money on the street and it really uh, gave a good profit at the end. I learned all more songs and more songs. With this uh, great music I was playing, I met some people who I was playing now with, the band Rapalia. I had to study a lot of new songs uh, to come into the uh, folk music business, learn to play new instruments and everything. Now I had a question from uh, Amy, Amy Wassing. How many recordings do you make before you are satisfied, she asked. Or is it all good in one take? Do you practice the songs a lot before you're recording it? Or is it more like spontaneous improvising? Love the songs already, by the way, she says. But then again, William can sing like no other can. That makes me cheeks a bit red. Thank you very much, Amy, for that. The more you play songs uh, before you record them, the more spontaneous they come. You ever been singing these songs your whole life already. And that's a lot of thanks to my street music because I played so many years. The song we recorded, Long May You Run, it's an old song from uh, Neil Young. It started when Deep and Me came to the studio and actually we plugged in and played it at once. The lyrics and everything, everything went well. But there was one little thing missing. The special effects I did in the song was the tambourine. I especially sticked it all together which you can see in our shows. Well, let's just put it on the ground, on the floor, and start recording it like this. We didn't choose some fine things together. Drums of memory still gone. We found things to do in stormy weather. Change.